Bet you I can. Challenge is accepted. Now to clone you right, I had to figure out exactly where you were. I saw you chasing down a moving robot, and you even licked the top of it. And his name was Mark. It also said serve robotics on the robot. I then did a Google search for serve robotics. And it came up with the food delivery robots in Los Angeles, California. Each robot has its own name. I then saw a store in the background of your video that said Stone Street. I found Stone Street on the map. I took my professional clone kit in my hand and went straight to Stone Street to find Marcus. Once I got there, I knew it wasn't going to be easy to find Marcus. Because there's over 100 food delivery robots on this street alone. But then guess what? I see a robot. I run directly up to the robot in the hopes that it is Marcus and I could swab your DNA right off the top of it. He was moving fast. But I'm definitely faster than a robot after I caught up to him I went directly to the side to see the name and it was the wrong robot I double checked, but it said shears up. I knew that wasn't Marcus So I had to keep looking for the right robot so I could swap your DNA directly off Marcus as I'm walking I see another robot out of the corner of my eye. I run as fast as I can I didn't want him to run me over but I stood right in front of him and guess what he stopped I take a look on the side of that robot hoping it's Marcus and it's the wrong one His name was Otto get out of here Otto. I need Marcus and I'm not stopping until I find it And then guess what? out of the corner of my eye, I see another robot rolling around. I was on the other side of the street so I had to get over to that side before he was gone. Something told me this one was Marcus and I ran as fast as I possibly could. I completely stopped traffic and went right through the center of the intersection. I run straight up to that mechanical looking googly eye robot. I search directly for his name in hopes it's Marcus. Please be Marcus. Please be Marcus. And to my disappointment, it was not Marcus. His name was Chase and yes, you did give me a good chase, Mr. Chase but I don't want you. After four hours I almost completely gave up. I stood at a bus stop ready to go home. I was very upset. And then God answered my prayers and Marcus was rolling down the street. You cannot make this up. I go stop him directly in his tracks in the middle of the street. I take my DNA Q-tip and swab your DNA directly off the top of Marcus. I made sure to get every single piece of DNA as I don't know if I will ever find Marcus again. I looked at the DNA to make sure the swab was perfect and I did not want to leave Marcus in case I had to swab it again. Your DNA was good i placed it in my chemical grade tube closed it up completely sealed tightly and walked directly out of the street placed your dna inside my bulletproof chemical grade casing while simultaneously following marcus just in case he was trying to escape i closed up your dna and went back to my cloning lab so i could clone you i got to my lab it was time to start the cloning process i took my dna protective casing and opened it up i then took your chemical grade dna tube outside and put your dna inside an ag iron plate i then put cytochrome 4 3 7 solution right on top of your DNA. I then use a syringe to extract the DNA infused liquid so I can look underneath my microscope. I then place six teeny droplets of DNA liquid onto my microscopic plate. I then place the microscopic plate inside my $10,000 microscope. After only a few adjustments, I was able to see the DNA moving underneath the microscope. This is exactly what I saw. The red is the good DNA. The purple are the cells we need to clone. This is 4,000x zoom in a DNA cell. I then took H3N606 solution and poured it down my DNA diffuser. You can see the liquid secreting down the spiral DNA diffuser and into the agar plate. I then took the Q-tip outside the filter DNA agar plate and placed the agar plate in my DNA lab. After marinating for three to six days, it was time to streak the ag iron plate. Streaking an ag iron plate is an essential cloning technique. You never want to make a tear inside the jelly-like substance. You make six to 18 lines inside the ag iron plate, and if you do it right, the DNA cells will go on the top of the ag iron plate. You can see the colonies right there. This is you after only a few weeks old, and soon I'll have a robot-licking track star for myself. Make sure to come back for updates.